So what's up guys after quite long we are back with another unboxing video and today we are gonna unbox this seal package which I just received from the Amazon delivery service and to be honest among all my gears and equipments this is going to be the most expensive one. Yes it is the Logitech G502 wired gaming mouse which comes with a 25k hero sensor. So today we'll be unboxing it and we'll be having a quick overview how this mouse is, what are the features you are getting with it, what else do you get inside the package and whether you should go and buy it or not. So without wasting much time let's begin straight with the video. Just like any other order from Amazon, this thing comes away straight in a cardboard package which is expected to be bubble wrapped or foam coated from the inside. So we have to quickly open it and see how it's packed in. So there's no secure foaming inside but still the package looks fine. That's the bill and we have our package of the Logitech G502. But still the package seems crushed. It is because it is a refurbished product. A new G502 costs around 4900 rupees on Amazon while a refurbished one costed me around 3100 rupees. Being refurbished is never an issue. All we need to check is everything is working fine and we are good to go. So here we have the package. In spite of little bit of crushing on all sides, the bill on the back side which is printed has a little bit of tear off due to the tapings but rest everything looks fine on the package itself. So we have to quickly open up the package and look what are the contents inside it. And so there we have the mouse. Luckily it is in the factory packed plastic casing because the reviews on refurbished product usually say that the product arrives in a plastic wrapping and no factory packets, no bill and nothing. So there's the mouse, the G502 Hero. It looks brand new with no scratches, no wear and tear. A small paper manual from Logitech with the mouse itself. And at the bottom we have got this small box from Logitech. We'll come to this later. So there is the brand new refurbished G502 Hero. The wire is wrapped and arranged properly just as if it would be available with a new product. Here you get a USB based 6 feet long wire which is 1.83 meters approximately and a little bit of straps for cable management. The mouse looks absolutely flawless with this matte black finish with plastic and rubber coating all over it. It has no scratches, no signs of previous use and no marks or anything that would make you feel that you are using a refurbished product. The build quality is top notch, it is a quite heavy weight gaming mouse with all the modern requirements with lots of buttons, macro keys, programmable keys and customizable RGB which compared to my previous mouse is literally god. Which on plugging into the system lightens up the Logitech logo and the 3 DPI scaling lines which resemble the CPI of the mouse. Coming to comfort and grip, yes it has a good shape, comes with a thumb rest and yes it is quite comfortable as compared to any other mouse which I have used till date. In terms of RGB the Logitech logo illuminates up with the 3 DPI scaling lines. You have got two different buttons to increase your DPI and to decrease it the G7 and the G8. Next to the thumb rest you get a shifted sensitivity button that pushes your DPI to the second level according to whatever you have created in your profile. You also have the forward and the backward buttons right next to your thumb rest and a dedicated button to lock your scroll from free movement and grip motion. And you of course have a system DPI switch G9 next to the scroll lock. For those of you who want to know how does this mouse sound while you are using it, here's an audio sample. Moving back to the small Logitech case which you get with your mouse, it is nothing but just adjustable weight masses for your mouse which comes with 5 adjustable weights that weigh 3.6 grams each. You can just pick them up and install them into your mouse according to your preference, get a desired weight and then rock on with your perfect weight mouse. The bottom lid of the mouse is clipped in with a magnet so yes there's no chance that you'll break it off in taking it open. Which I later decided to use this mouse without any additional weight mask because it became too heavy for me and it became really tough for me to aim. Yes, this mouse is of course incomplete without its drivers which are controlled from the Logitech G Hub. There you can automatically detect your mouse and then adjust your sensitivity. By default you get a profile, if you are comfortable with it you can use it or just customize it according to your needs. 
you can adjust the macros, adjust custom commands and functions for every button provided on the mouse. You can literally customize each and every button. And in the third section, you get the light sync, which allows you to customize the lights on the two lighting zones. One is the Logitech logo, while the other one is the DPI indicator. And I love this audio visualizer effect, which makes this light of your mouse react to the music going on in your system. You can of course create profiles and then just use it according to your requirements. It will automatically detect any game on your system and automatically switch to the profile desired for it. You can customize it and set it according to your preference. Moving on to overall review, yes this mouse is actually worth the money which you are gonna pay for it. Yes I agree it is a bit expensive for basic budget segment users but yes it is not even overpriced because you are getting a high grade sensor which literally registers each and every entry no matter how hard you flick it or how fast you move your mouse. Customizable macros and custom functions on the keys makes it even better. As far as considering this product as refurbished, I got it in the brand new condition just the package has little bit of crush downs, rest there is no sign of previous use nor any wear and tear. It looks absolutely brand new and works exactly like a new one. If you are going to buy one, I'll of course recommend to go for a new one, but being in a tight budget, go with a refurbished one blindly. It's absolutely fine and there is no issue in going with it. And so yes, that's all for this video. Hope you found this interesting. If so, don't forget to drop a like and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos every week. Thanks for watching.